Welcome back and uh, let's now get moving with this edition of your weekly TV magazine as we again open our electronic pages to the business section. Here's BizWatch. For our first item this week, we should look into the current situation of our banana exports to China. It has been reported recently that tons and tons of Philippine bananas have been sent back to the country or left to rot in China. We sought out the director of the BPI or the Bureau of Plant Industry, Mr. Clarito Baron, to get the real score on this issue. Well, actually, uh, right now there is already an ongoing uh, uh, paradigm shift with regards to how the different countries uh, look in a manner by which they are uh, importing uh, food, food, food stock like uh, uh, fresh agricultural crop commodities like fruit, vegetables, and in here uh, I think uh, there are countries like China already become uh, uh, aware on uh, the food safety as well as the uh, uh, sanitary and phytosanitary uh, uh, measures that each and every uh, countries who are exporting uh, fruit uh, should comply with and in here I think uh, China right now is uh, becomes aware of this and that's why they impose a much stricter and uh, uh, shall I say rigorous uh, measures on the inspection of uh, fruits that are being uh, being uh, imported by them because of the ongoing tension at the Panatag Shoal, some quarters are saying that the imposition of stricter controls and measures on our banana imports to China is related to the territorial dispute, which Director Baron says is not quite true. At the moment, Japan tops the list of the buyers of our bananas, particularly the Cavendish variety, followed by China. And, uh, the market that is being uh... Uh, captured by China is almost 34% of the total volume of export that uh, we are sending. This is as far as banana is concerned. And uh, to, to uh, give you the, the figure, annually, an average of 350,000 metric tons are being exported to China uh, with a value of more or less 75 million US dollars. The figures are indeed enough to worry our local banana growers and importers. So we asked Director Baron if indeed the new measures that China has adopted will cripple the banana industry and if it is only our banana export that is meeting with such fate. Well, I can say that predominantly it's only banana but uh, they are also imposing uh, strict uh, uh, inspection. Uh, of fruits like uh, pineapple and papaya. Industry leaders have been quoted as saying that the Philippines may not be able to meet its export targets this year because of the restrictions imposed by China, especially since other markets like Japan are currently saturated with Philippine bananas. This is what Director Baron has to say. I think uh, this is a wake, wake up call for us in such a way that we have to strengthen our uh, uh, protocol and guidelines for the export of our fruits, not only of our fruits but also for vegetables. And we have also to uh, also to enhance our uh, 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 guidelines for the accreditation of the exporters. The Bureau of Plant Industry Director also added that our growers need to install insect proofing devices in their facilities, construct proper seed storage facilities, and ensure sufficient and continuous supply of clean water to wash the harvested fruits thoroughly. He also added that the growers and exporters should likewise improve their facilities at the pre-shipment areas. All I can say is that there is a very wrong connotation that uh, our, our fruits like banana, pineapple, and papaya are, uh, are already banned in China. That's, that's a very, very wrong connotation. In fact, when I visited China, they are always saying that uh, their market are still open for our bananas. Director Clarito Baron of the Bureau of Plant Industry also assures all the stakeholders in the industry that the government is always ready to support the agro-industrial sector. In fact, some 50 million pesos from the government's social fund has been allocated for growers or facility owners 
who wish to upgrade or rehabilitate their facilities in order to produce high quality fruits that conform to international standards. We wish our fruit exporters all the best in the face of these new challenges. And on that note, we close the electronic pages of Business and Leisure's business section, BizWatch. We have our special segment, Embassy Row, coming up, and this week we spotlight the United States Ambassador to the Philippines. Know more about the persona behind the name Harry K. Thomas Jr. and the multifaceted relations he is ably promoting between the U.S. and the Philippines when BNL continues after a short break. I'll be right back with more interesting viewing. Vogue this week enters the world of radio via a man who is a car executive during the day and a singer slash radio host at night. For all you gun enthusiasts out there, check out our sports shoot in a bit. Lifestyle Chronicles will take us to the hippest activities in and around the metro. These and more when Business and Leisure returns after this short message from our ever-supportive sponsors. Stay tuned!